We all know this about LDOE. It's a very, very grindy game. You have to spend hours farming resources to farm other resources, to get the best loot, and then farm again and again for everything. The chopper, the ATV, the boat, the settlement, your base, and so on. Personally, I don't mind the grind in video games. I like it, but one thing everyone agrees on in video games is that putting items behind a paywall is a terrible idea, a terrible concept, and that's what we see in LDOE. In this game, there are a lot of things to pay for. I mean, look at the store. It's filled with packs for everything, and the new offers that appear when you enter the game, it really gets annoying. So yeah, Key Fear really wants you to pay for stuff. Now, in LDOE, you can basically obtain every needed item for progress in free-to-play. It's more grindy but it's possible. There are some mechanics, like the repair station that we can't get, but the devs put it in the roadmap for this year. There are items like the tactical backpack that are really hard and rare to get, but they're still obtainable without paying. What I'm talking about is in the new headhunting event, where the devs made it so that you can't obtain certain rewards unless you pay. I made this post yesterday asking if, as a free-to-play player, it's possible to reach the final levels. And someone wrote, According to my calculations, you need 1,700 points to complete the event. And as a free-to-play player, you only get 990 points. So honestly, I haven't even touched the event because I can't complete it as a free-to-play player. So it's literally impossible to get the carbon composite factory parts in the purple blueprint unless you pay coins. Now, I don't care about the skins, really. But man, these resources would be very handy for weapon mods. And the devs made sure you can't get them. I think this really shows what Kafer cares about in this game. I saw the roadmap, and I'm hoping for the best. But for now, it really started terrible. The headhunting event isn't really the best event. It's just another commune event with more bad rewards and the good ones you can't get. We'll see if they do anything with this game or if they're just going to bring it to the ground. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to leave your comments down below. I will respond to everyone. Goodbye.